Welcome to the overview of the 10 building blocks of Chinuch. These building blocks, essentially, I call them 10 building blocks of Chinuch, they essentially cover all the areas that we need as Mechanchim, teachers, educators, uh, to cover for our children. It's not the actual curriculum per se, it's more like a framework. Number eight of the 10 building blocks is an eight lane highway. This is my version of a highway in two directions. Yeah. It's called Halacha Yomi. What is Halacha Yomi? Halacha Yomi means we're going to learn Halacha every day. Because of all the Halakim of the Torah, Chumash, Nach, Mishnayas, Gemara, Medrash, Musa, Hashkafa, Hasidus, um, you've got Agadata, um, Kisviari, Zaya, Brises, Tesefta, Sifra, Sifri, Mechilta, Shulchan Aruch, Rambam, you have a vast, broad, broad, broad spect, spect, spectrum. We have a broad spectrum of Torah under one big umbrella. Um, but if you had to select one, just select one that demonstrates our Ava to Hashem, our deep, deep appreciation for wanting to do the Ratzna Beira. You're probably forced to conclude that really knowing halacha is the one demonstration of my real ava to you, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, because I want to know what you want me to do, think, say what I can or cannot say, can or cannot think, do or cannot do. I want to know your rotsen. So, teaching halacha every single day, but not just as rote information. How do I make it alive? So. What's the purpose of an eight-lane highway? So the idea really is that we want to sensitize our children that the word halacha does not correctly translate as law. Uh, it's not a bad translation, but it's Christian-based translation, so I want to get away from it. The word law doesn't quite conjure up possibilities, options. Law, I think, has a little bit more of a connotation of black, white, no gray. Permitted, forbidden. And that's it. But what we discover is the word halacha really comes from a two-letter root leich, which means direction, go. So what does that mean? That means the halacha, the direction that we have to go in, depends on where we're coming from and where we're going to. That means say you, yes you and I, could ask the exact same question to the same rabbi, the same rav, same paisek, and he'll give two different answers to the same question. Because the direction you're going in and coming from, with all your background and the different factors that have to be factored in to understand your question may be very different to mine. And therefore, the answer you got is totally valid for you and totally valid for me. So the whole concept of halacha is direction. What's the right direction to go in? And a way to help our children be sensitized to this is to teach them the different lanes in the highway. Yeah, there are different lanes in the highway. Well, you've got a fast lane, you've got a slow lane. You've got the exit lane. You have a bus lane and you have a fire lane. You even have a uh, carpool lane. Why all these different lanes? And the answer is because you need different lanes for different purposes. Someone getting off the exit, he wants to be in the exit lane. And me going, hi, you're so slow. Oops, I just missed my exit. That was my exit too. Oh, so I'm in the fast lane thinking I'm faster than you. But really, I'm not in the right lane for me. He's in the right lane for him. So it's not a matter of how the halacha applies differently. It's not about who's better or not. The different lanes in the highway reflect needs that are different. And so also in the halachic highway, you have, if you want to put it at one end of the spectrum, mitzvah minamuvcha. This is the best lane to be in to do the mitzvah in the best possible way. Lechat uh, Chila, there's another lane, which is still very good. It's not the best, it's very good. And that's called Lechat Chila. Oh, Bedi Evet, you shouldn't really be in this lane, but if you did it this way, it's still valid. Oh, Me'ikra Din, this is without any other pressing circumstances that would force you to switch lanes. This is the lane 
in the middle, so to speak. And then below that, you might have Hef said Meruba. Um, well, there's a chance that I might lose a lot of money. Or Shas Hatchak, there might be pressing circumstances. Or it might be a situation of Suffolk Bekuach Nefesh, or the lowest of all, Bekuach Nefesh, danger to life, or possible danger to life. Oh, those two lanes, guess what happens? U-turn. It switches the halachic application in the opposite direction. So, for example, Shabbos, am I allowed to turn a light on? Of course not. Oh, but if to ignite fire is for the possibility of saving life, not only is it not forbidden, it's a mitzvah to do it straight away and to rely on the most reliable person to do it. Oh, interesting. So you could even have a, a U-turn lane that switches everything in the opposite direction. So we're going to sensitize our children to many different cases, and I'll show you when we get to the, the second layer of the overview, how we can sensitize our kids at a very young age, first, second, third grade, with halacha yomi, with different scenarios that reflect different lanes in the highway. And what ends up happening is that children learn that halacha is not black and white, it's a very broad spectrum within which it has a very deep understanding of people's needs, human nature, and the halachic components that need to be weighed into the question to understand what's the correct halachic decision in each situation. So that's halacha yomi, and it helps kids to uh, feel, oh, you know what, I'm still from when I'm keeping the halacha this way, I'm not less from because right now the circumstances means I've got to switch lanes. So I'm still going in the right direction. I may be going slow or fast or I might have to take a U-turn, but I'm not being not from about it. I'm still within the confines of Shulchan Aruch. I'm still within halacha. And that's really what we want our children to understand. Uh, Torah is not black and white. It's not gray. <laughs> there is psak, but it's not black and white where it's all or nothing. There's many, many lanes in the highway, and that's what we want our children to be sensitized to because that's the halachic language you'll find in Shulchan Aruch and Paiskim.